Hi, YouTube. We are back again. This is Euphamy M and my two partners in crime, Damali and Ish. Hi, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. <sighs> I hope you guys appreciate this because <laughs> we're getting tired. I'm, get, I'm getting tired. But I'm going to do this for y'all because I promised that I would, after I already did the highlight video, now we're going to move into bronzers and I'm going to show you my collection of bronzers. And I've got some kind of high end and I've got some low end so that there's some, something in there that can work for whoever. Mm -hmm. So right. we're going to start off and I guess I'll start. Cool. Um, I'm going to show you a few of the ones I have. Some of them are kind of like blushes, but you can use them as bronzers. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, this one is by BH Cosmetics. I don't know if any of you are familiar, but it's an online company and they're kind of, I guess they're no, low end. Excuse me. Bless Matthew. you. <laughs> Um, the only downside to BH is you have to buy everything online, but the prices are phenomenal. And if you're a makeup artist or you're someone who's trying to build your collection, BH is a good way to do it because you can get a lot for cheap. So this is one of their um, blush duos, and this one is in Tulip. Packaging is really cute. Super cute. Kind of comes to a close as a magnetized thing on the bottom. But this is what I kind of wanted to show you was this little, um, the little bronzer section. So I don't know... The camera isn't really picking that up too well. Let me try it one more time. But if you can kind of see, that would be the bronzer part. And then like Damali was mentioning in our previous video, you would kind of hit that on top of that with this blush, which is a nice kind of peachy color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a good one. Pretty. Um, I'm gonna switch to a higher end. This is a Lorac bronzer. <laughs> <laughs> and this is called a uh, tantalizer and this is really really that's really, one of my faves like, i love that one yeah really good this is just beautiful and this would be kind of similar to max gold deposit which is a real popular one yeah that texture is beautiful but look, look at, at that, that. and it this lasts right all day like yeah isn't that pretty my fave so, i'm just gonna kind of hit the tops of my cheeks with that i already oh, have some wow. highlighter on but just see what that does. That just looks gorgeous with that blue eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a really, really good option. It's going to cost you a little bit more, but I think we actually, or Damali bought this yeah. for me from Nordstrom's Rack, and I think it was much, much cheaper, maybe like $15 or mm -hmm. something. It's normally a lot more. So that's probably my favorite when it comes to bronzers. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay, I'm going to clean my hands so we can move on. Uh, this is one that I recently bought, and I like it. It's something that you can use as a blush, and oh, this I is Wet n' Wild. This is the Fergie Center Stage. This is called Rose Golden Goddess. Oh, it's gorgeous. Wow. So if you're going for a look where you don't want a real strong blush, this will do, this will, it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. It it's can like be a blush. Kissed. Exactly. It's very beautiful. So look how pretty that, that is. is and this is five bucks. Because it's wet and wild. Nice. So you get a, a lot of nice shimmer and color payoff with Gorgeous. that. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So good pick on that one. Again, it's Rose Golden Goddess. Okay, this is one that I use a lot. I probably use this almost daily. And this is one a lot of people know about. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And it looks light, but you'd be surprised um, how this comes off on women of color. It you can actually see it. You just may have to apply a couple different, a couple coats, but this is a good contour color, believe it or not. And of course, my face is not the same color as my hand, so you won't be able to tell. But if you just apply this right in the hollows of your cheeks, it'll give you a really nice contour. If you're very very deep skinned, then this probably won't work for you. But if you're in our family of skin tone, then this will work for you as a nice contour and a bronzer. Okay, you want to do a couple D? Sure. Um, what I want to talk about specifically is Amy just started to, I could, it was a great segue into the differences in terms of the contouring. Um, with bronzers, that's the whole point of a bronzer is to basically help um, add some depth to certain um, areas of the face so that you can highlight your features. Um, your bone structure and um, your skin in terms of the luminescence of your skin um it's, it's basically the idea of a bronzer is to make your skin look sun-kissed but also shadow certain areas right. of the face so that again the cheekbones right um are highlighted and nice and and um exposed 
in a way that it's flattering to the face. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole point of a bronzer um, is definitely in in regards to um, you know bringing out those features. What what I like to do oftentimes is um, as a makeup artist, you tend to use certain things sometimes it could look more like a bronzer but it may be a blush color or vice versa mm -hmm. so this is actually yeah. a mac blush color but it's a very deep color a very rich color mm -hmm. so what i would do is use this i'm going to show you as in underneath it's my dad's calling <laughs> great call him back yeah, our dad called a little earlier too. And that color but this is this just format. gives it a nice little undertone. Mm -hmm. And like Amy said, it kind of gives that undercarriage to the other color that you may have on your face. I mm -hmm. do this every single day. I do too. Um, with yeah. my makeup application, it just helps mm -hmm. enhance your blush, mm -hmm. your cheekbones, etc. And so this color format format is the matte color that I just used for that. Um, there are other colors here. There's other products, Contouring Blush Bronzing Powder by e.l.f. Um, this one is the St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Yeah. Really? I'm going to St. Lucia in September. Yay. Yay. So there again, you have the darker shade to do underneath the cheekbone. Sometimes you can do it here mm -hmm, in the contour eye your nose, yeah. to contour the nose. Um, sometimes you can do it here along the hairline. Right. Yeah. Um, and then you always want to hit this jawline mm -hmm. right underneath here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it really helps women who are starting to have a you know a little sag. Yeah. In this area and stuff, in order to take away from that and to add that line of demarcation, it gives you it some really lift. blend it out. Okay. It gives you some lift. Okay. okay. And then the pink, of course, you want to add to the top, again to you know highlight mm -hmm. um, and bring out the color, mm -hmm. the rosiness. Mm -hmm. You know, you want it to look like your cheeks are sun kissed. Right. Okay, okay, so they basically oftentimes will give you a nice little duo or set. Mm -hmm. So that way, even if you're not, if you're a beginner at this, mm -hmm. you don't have to be like a, a huge professional or whatever. Right. You can just be a beginner. And mm -hmm. instead of just putting regular blush on your face, it's almost like a lip liner and a lipstick. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yes. people just use a lipstick without like a liner. Mm -hmm. um, so what the bronzers do is it kind of polishes it off and it gives it a nice setting mm -hmm. um, to your blush color. Mm -hmm. um, lipsticks, blushes, you should always blend. Um, never wear a flat color. It's always so, nice yeah. to add, you know, mixed tones, add, do different mm -hmm. things. I have lipsticks and lip colors that are my favorite. If it's not a gloss, glosses you don't have to worry about that so right. much. But with lipsticks, definitely blending you is. Use a liner you want to use a liner blended. for sure. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, here's another Elf. This one's a golden bronzer. So this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this palette. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Nice. It's got great color, great texture, um, great pigmentation. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you want to make sure that you um, utilize this after your entire makeup application. Right. This would be something you use in the end of your application to finish everything off. This is like a finishing touch. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it gives it that professional finish. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you that nice glow. Even in the wintertime when the sun's not out, yeah, you still want to look like glow. you've been kissed yeah, by the sun. still want that. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is gorgeous. This is a MAC, um, so it's a little higher end. It's a gold deposit, and it's a mineralized skin finish. These are absolutely stunning. Let me show you. And in the store, this is going to cost you probably $35. Yeah. Um, I don't know what Amy paid for it, but... Yeah, that was actually another AliExpress find. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> So I didn't pay $30 for yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. It's, I'll be honest. It's a little, it's not quite the same as the gold deposit from Mac. Okay. I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you guys the truth always. 
but it's still beautiful, especially mm -hmm. when you mm -hmm. use the fan brush. It comes off just like the, the one by Max. So. Nice. Okay. I'm happy with there it. It, it says Max, so we're going to go with that right yeah. now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I will let Maisha finish up with the rest because I think we have how many more? Uh, Amy's got a liquid bronzer here, uh, mm -hmm. Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. Um, nice. I've mm -hmm. never used a liquid bronzer. So I'm not really a pro yet. I guess you could consider me a beginner for sure. Um, but being around these ladies all the time, I am pretty much getting inundated with it. <laughs> and I'm loving every minute of it. Being a girl is so fun. But anyway, um, but I'm sure this is gorgeous too. Um, this color is um, Claire Bronze, Bronze Light. And mm -hmm. it says photo finish. So I'm assuming that it doesn't have an SPF in it and it photo it looks good right. when you take so I'm the picture. Give you the white oh, cast. exactly. Yeah. So anytime you photograph, you don't want to use a foundation, a powder, or anything with an SPF over eight. Mm, okay. Okay. So you know, if you're going to a photo shoot early in the morning, usually they're in the mornings or whatever. Wear a baseball cap. Wear you know, have a clean face, but do not put even. Um, moisturizer on your skin that With has SPF. anything of SPF over 15 okay. because you'll definitely have a white cast yeah yes. look on and then, of course cute. they have Photoshop and stuff like that but at the end of the day you'll have much much nicer photos yeah right. um, for right. weddings birthdays special occasions right, right. Um, even your selfies <laughs> you know you definitely want to be conscious of and that. and this is what it looks like and it's really really nice it had a nice texture to it too when i yeah. swatched it on my hand um, very mm -hmm. light mm -hmm. didn't feel heavy mm -hmm. um, which is always important to me especially mm -hmm. with the skin type that i have because i don't want to break out by using products like um, this the liquids um amy has another one i'm assuming this one's actually a blush too it is it is mm -hmm. um it's cheekers blush Let's see. it's cover girl it's the color iced cappuccino iced cappuccino Ooh, i like that mm -hmm. makes me want a cappuccino. what girl doesn't love <laughs> cappuccino yeah and i wouldn't use this brush probably if mm -hmm. you have a different um contouring brush um like this it's like, is it like probably it? would work mm -hmm. better yeah. mm -hmm. um but this is also a nice color probably would look really good on my sister here who's mm -hmm. a little bit lighter um, me being a little darker, um, I'm probably not an iced cappuccino. I'm probably like a mocha. <laughs> An <laughs> iced mocha. They're both good, but um, <laughs> this color would probably look better on my sister. Um, then Amy has this one. This is... It's Wet n' Wild. Wet n' Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This one actually does have an SPF of 15 in it, so it probably wouldn't oh, work well for a photo okay. shoot. However, it is pretty um sure. the color is bikini, bikini contest, contest. Mm. oh i like it okay after i like my to feel like i could week. be <laughs> <laughs> bikini ready without the bikini body okay right and this one is not really this showing one. up on me well this is a good contour is this oh a, wow this yeah makes see a, that looks gorgeous it's a, and you know wet and wild some of this stuff can be a little um that looks powdery gorgeous. Yeah, but yeah, that's a great that. contour. Yeah, the thing about these bronzers also, if you don't feel like doing a full face of makeup application um, in the summertime when it's really hot and mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. like your face just feels sticky and right. icky, um, bronzers are great for um, kind of a tinted, you know, effect you or what have you, where you don't have to put foundation. You can put True. a nice concealer True. Um, just to get rid of the dark circles or any mm -hmm. blemishes. Yeah. Um, and then a little bronzer all over. It gives you a glow. You don't have to put the full application of makeup. Right. Um, so there's so many usages for point. that. But when Maisha was talking about the liquid one, that's what made me think of that. Oh, okay. um, you can definitely use this face illuminator. Mm -hmm. um, MAC makes a really good one. It's called Strobe Cream. Right. Love the Strobe um, Cream. You know, the halo effect mm -hmm. I just did. Any of those. You can even put halo effect under your foundation. Right or the illuminator under your foundation or use it by itself me sometimes when i'm just running to target 
or you know to run a couple of errands i don't want to do a full makeup application and i put on my aviators and some skin illuminator yeah, i'm good, good to, go to go and some lip gloss absolutely um, and i keep my aviators on because i don't have my lashes on so um <laughs> but at the end of the day if you put a little mascara a little concealer you know you don't feel like going with the whole nine yards you mm -hmm. always want to have a little color to your face so you just don't look so pale and kind mm -hmm. of washed out or whatever so a little you know, nice fleshly tone lip gloss, nothing mm -hmm. major. Don't look like you tried too hard, but right. at the same time, don't look negligent. Right, right. right. So um, that's what bronzers are great for as well. Okay, great. guys. I learned something today. I'm definitely going to take too. that tip home um, and, and go ahead and purchase something like this because mm -hmm. I am a mom, and this would be a great we solution for quick. running out of the door quick fix yeah. um, for looking great. So thank you. Absolutely. Good okay, tip. Um, the last one she has is a Bare Minerals product, um, and it is the Warmth Color. And mm. it's a good contour color. It's good to put, you know, I don't necessarily always put a darker color up here because I don't have a very big forehead. But if you do have a big forehead, Thank God. it's helpful to use some <laughs> contour and kind of shade that in. It sure, gives the illusion sure. of a smaller forehead. Sure. But Bare Minerals is good stuff. I don't use it all the time. I, I just have, I have a lot of stuff, so that's probably why. But <laughs> anyway, um, this is what warmth looks like. And it's, of course, it's a mineral, but they're creamy. And you can't really see it on me, but I'll show you on my oh, finger. Yeah. I'm not trying to flip y'all off. <laughs> That's how it looks. And it's a really pretty contour color, and That's it gives gorgeous. you a nice bronze. It's gorgeous. Um, one other thing, real quick before we close out, with what she just said was really important. If you wear wigs, um, even if, you know, she was talking about the side of her forehead or whatever, you can always use this to help finish off this line here line of demarcation oh. so that way you can blend it naturally so it doesn't oh, look so like okay. astringent on your face or so you know whatever mm -hmm. um i have several friends that wear wigs i don't wear them but i have friends oh, that wear them know. and sometimes when they pull their wigs down you know it just looks it, doesn't it looks look unnatural natural, right yeah. exactly okay. so if you want to use your makeup to enhance yeah, again okay. even your your makeup your face line mm -hmm. you know to make sure that it is look as natural and as beautiful as possible naturally right um but at the end of the day you know some people do need to wear wigs or what have you yes, to yes, make they themselves feel yeah. beautiful look beautiful so mm -hmm. i'm all for it i Absolutely. believe in playing and everything but mm -hmm. at the end of the day just make sure you don't overdo it with you know making it look so unnatural mm -hmm. um because i'm telling you now most men aren't attracted to that mm -hmm. Absolutely. nope so the thing the fun thing about contouring is basically it's a cheap facelift yeah, that's Yay. there you go. <laughs> Absolutely. You don't need Botox, you don't need surgery, no needles. All right. Exactly. This was fun. Okay, thanks you guys. Thank you. Thanks y'all. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys' time. Like, subscribe, and I will list everything that we talked about down below. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye. Bye.